Welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Tuesday, September 27th, 2016. Just going to read our disclaimer quickly. Trading stocks is a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice. Thank you for your patience with that and cannot reiterate that enough. I am just sharing my own personal homework with you. We always start our videos off with a look at the Russell Index, and for that we use the IWM, which is the ETF that represents the Russell 2000, and we step back to look at it on a five-year monthly time frame. And we were paying particular attention to this blue channel that the Russell traded within through all of 2014, had this lift up and out in early 15, the subsequent sell-off, and then the move higher, to where we are right here right now. So well above the upper blue band on our channel. But two things uh, strike me about this chart. Number one is we're coming up to this prior swing high where we got a, a candle that lacked conviction for the month and the market sold off from there. We're coming into that area where it may offer some resistance over here as well. And number two, we only have a few days month, uh, a few days left, I should say, in the month. And so far the candle is looking like it doesn't have a lot of conviction again. You know, when you get this look of a wick here and a wick here, there's a tug of war between the bears and the bulls, and it's a draw as to who's winning. So in these kinds of areas, you just want to be paying attention to that. Having said that, we still have a few days left in the month, so maybe it will have a more bullish look to it in the end. We'll see. I'm going to move it away from the five-year monthly to the two-year weekly. Um... We always want to make sure that the market itself is in an uptrend before we put charts forward. And as you can see, price is up and over the 8-day EMA, which is our blue line, 8-day EMA on the weekly chart for the Russell weekly chart, and as well as the daily chart. So price is right at our blue line, our 8-day our EMA, but mostly over, and the futures are trading in the green this morning. I'm filming this at about 8.30, so with that, we will be putting a chart forward this morning. Uh, that chart is, again, a name that you're going to recognize, or a lot of you will. Um, and the chart is AT&T, T. Uh, let me tell you a little bit more about this company before we get into the chart. AT&T was incorporated in 1983. It's a holding company. It's a provider of telecommunication services in the United States and worldwide. You know what Chart of the Day Cafe, it's all about value. This has a nice high value score, the value scores that I look for. Number one value, number two growth. It's got a nice growth score uh, with a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 15%. And then the third thing I look for, which I don't always find, but in the case of AT&T, it's there. Uh, a dividend yield. This one has a nice high dividend yield of 4.67%. That's, that's a nice yield. For those of you interested in PE, it's got a PE of 14.09. Um, so we've got, check the boxes, we've got value, growth, dividend, um, all the things that we look for here at Chart of the Day Cafe. So having told you a little bit about the company, let's get into the chart. First thing you should notice is I've got an orange band uh, around price that where AT&T consolidated for all of these years, sort of building a foundation for a move. That move came in the latter part of 2015 when they completed the acquisition of DirecTV, which was obviously a growth catalyst for the company because it moved off of this base higher into the range that we're in right here, right now. So here is the monthly candle so far lifting up and over this new area of support. Let's move it away from the five-year monthly to the two-year weekly so we can better see how price is behaving. Um, there's our eight-day EMA. Here's our area of support and the bounce up and off of that area so far. The volume is starting to come in um, and price is up and over the eight-day EMA on the weekly chart. Now let me pull it into the daily chart. Um, you can see how it consolidated here and had that lift up and over. As we always talk about, I know everyone has their own way of doing things and I'm not making any suggestions, but what I like to use is the 3 and 8, where the 3 uh, EMA crosses over. The 3 is the pink, 
the blue is the eight, where the three lifts over the blue and price lifts and moves higher. So we have that look over here. It's already crossed. I'm kind of hoping that it might come in and drift a little lower um, into this area where I think it would be pretty interesting. And, you know, I'm not making any, any suggestions whatsoever. It's all about you doing your own homework, but this looks like an interesting area to me. And um, as a side note, I do not currently own AT&T. Always important to, uh, for you to understand. Um, you know, in preparation for these videos, I like to put a number of other things forward. Uh, so we check the boxes on the market going higher overall with the IWM. Our pick for today is moving off an area of support and higher. The sector itself, let's go to the sector. Um, for that, you can use the ETF, IYZ, which is the telecommunications ETF. Two-year weekly chart, moving higher. Uh, here's our area of support, lifting off of that area of support and prices up and over the eight-day EMA on the ETF. I also have the sector that it's in. Here is the sector chart. Uh, if you're not interested in the ETF, here's the sector chart. You can see the same thing happening, lifting up and off this area of support. Um, also, we wanted to talk, we've been talking a little bit lately about seasonality and this terrific website called Equity Clock. Love this website. Um, so you can see that AT&T is coming into a period of seasonal strength. Uh, through the back half of the year, which is not to say it's going to happen again this year. There's no guarantee, but you always want to have things working in your favor, and seasonality does. The other thing is um, Barclays recently upgraded AT&T. This is dated September 26th. Uh, it upgraded AT&T to a buy. I will include this and the several other articles that I put together this morning in preparation for today's video with the show notes at the bottom of the YouTube uh, video today. Um, so with that, let's go over and check our boxes, which we like to do. I think this is a really good exercise. Um, checking the boxes for AT&T, market in an uptrend. Uh, the eight-day EMA is up and over the blue line on the Russell. It's up and over the blue line on the ETF and the sector. AT&T is in a long-term uptrend and lifting off an area of support. It already has a 3 and 8 cross, so we're checking that box. Good value score, check the box. Good growth score, check the box. Dividend yield of 4.67%, checking the box. Coming into seasonal strength, check the box. And I should have checked the box. It doesn't got a check, but it deserves a check. Recently upgraded. So those are the things that we wanted to reiterate. Having said all those things, I think it's really important to keep an eye on what's going on uh, with the European banks. One of my favorite economists, uh, Mohamed al Larian, tweeted this morning. I thought this was worth sharing because I definitely think you want to keep an eye on these things. Deutsche Bank. Eight years after the global financial crisis and four years after the ECB, whatever it takes policies, Deutsche Bank shares are at record lows. So if Deutsche Bank goes into single digits... Oh, that's something that I would definitely be keeping an eye on. So even though the market is trending higher, there's a lot of stuff to really be paying attention to and be extra cautious about. So with that, I will leave you. Thanks very much. Have a great week, and we'll put another video out on Thursday.